Hey everyone, in this quick tip video, I want to show you how you can quickly remove distractions and spots from your photo, and then how to use those retouch settings on multiple images using a preset. So let's take a look at this photo here. You can see I've only modified some of my tone and color, but I haven't gone in and retouched any of this image. You can see there's a lot of different distractions in my clouds that we need to remove. And if they're on this photograph, if I hit F on my keyboard, they're going to be on the same images in the sequence because I didn't clean my sensor. So let's go in, we'll remove all of these different distractions, and then we can save those retouching settings as a preset so that we can apply them to that group of photos. So I'll zoom in, and to start retouching, let's head over and we'll grab our retouch brush. So the retouch brush lives in between your perfect eraser and your clone stamp tool. But we're not gonna focus on either of those today, we're just gonna focus on our retouch brush. I like to use the retouch brush for small or faint imperfections, like little dust spots like this, or acne on skin. If you're looking to remove actual objects or there's really dark imperfections, I would recommend using your perfect eraser. So the retouch brush works similar to a paintbrush. We can modify our size, our feathering to determine how soft or how hard our brush edge is, and we can also play with the opacity to determine the strength of the retouch. So let's start with a brush size about 300. And I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to brush this on to remove this dust spot. And you can always brush it on again if there's a little bit left. So I'll go down and I'll do it to this one. And I can head up and I can do it to this one. And I'll just continue to do it until I have all of the dust spots removed. And there we go. Now we don't have any dust spots on the clouds. So now I'm going to go in into my develop tab here. I'm going to click this little icon to save these settings as a preset. So now inside the save preset dialog, I'm going to go into my categories, I'll add a new category, and I'll add retouching. And I'll name this one tree retouch. And inside the save preset, it's really important that you make sure you have retouching selected. Now that we have retouching selected, this will sync the retouching settings across the photos. I'm also going to make sure I have my develop settings selected so that I sync that little exposure boost. So now I can just click save. And now we have those settings saved as a preset. So let's go back into browse. And now inside browse, you can see we have that group of shots that still have distracting spots on them. So let's scroll down. I'll select all of those photos. I'll head into my preset drawer in browse. I'll head down to retouching. And now watch as I click tree retouch. It will sync that exposure across all of those photos, but if I make my thumbnails a little bit bigger, you can see that it removes all of the different spots and distractions within the clouds. See how they're still there in this photograph, but they're removed in this one? So a really quick way to save your retouch settings and apply it to multiple images. Thanks for watching. I'm Dylan with On1 and stay tuned for more.